what's up hello y'all welcome back to the complicated entertainment channel if you are new to the channel welcome to the channel if you are a returning viewer what's at what's at what's at um channel members hey y'all what's up channel members okay period what's up what y'all doing how y'all feeling today um First things first, y'all, we're going to go ahead and get into Miss Doja Cat. Now, Doja Cat, she is going viral on social media because people have noticed that she has gotten herself a new man, okay? Um, as of recently, she was, uh, you know, okay, with, with a man, but she had um, broke up with him, and then she was on, you know, on tour throwing subs, saying get a job. So, I mean, you know, apparently it seemed like she was tired of dating homeless men, okay? Um, so Doja Cat's new man, all right, um, his name is Joseph Quinn, all right, and they were spotted together in London, walking around, he had his hands, um, on her waist, touching her behind and stuff, um, okay, I guess that's cute, uh, now, this is the same man that she is tweeting about calling him fine, she said, Joseph Quinn is fine as S, um, girl, what, no, he's not, okay, and people are like, oh my gosh, why does Doja Cat only date white men? Why does she only date white men? Um, look at look look at Doja. Okay. Look look at her. And and that should be an answer for, for that question. Okay. Just, just just look at her. Does she give you she dates black men? No. Okay. And people are saying, oh well, how are you gonna only date white men and you gonna be saying the N-word still? Um, she is black, okay, but I don't know. Okay, people are happy because Doja Cat has a new man. She's in the studio. Okay, they're saying that her next album is going to be a gag. They're saying her next album is going to be so T. Um, I hope so. I, I, I really do hope so. Um, I feel like this new man should, you know, give her some new inspiration for music and hopefully have some new subject matter for her music. You know, maybe she could have, like, a love album. You know, like, a full-on, like, you know, love, love album. Love, 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 love You know, I feel like that would be pretty cool to see. Um, you know, Doja Cat in, in her love era, Okay. But yes, comment down below. How do you feel about this? I don't know why she's getting so much backlash for dating only white, only white men. I mean, I think that's just that's just her preference. You know, who are we to judge? Who are we to sit around and say, "Oh, Doja Cat, you need to be with a black man only"? Um, I don't think. I mean, that's not really fair. I mean, this is not the 1950s anymore. This is not 1945, 1922. Okay, and it damn sure ain't the 1800s. Okay, so you know, I think she can do what she wants. As long as she isn't hurting nobody and, you know, calling herself a demon, I'm fine. I'm happy with whoever she dating, okay? I'm, I don't care. Okay, I don't care. I don't see you, you are, are, like chicken curry, okay? Uh, all right, let's move on to this next All topic. right, y'all, moving on to Lizzo, okay? Um, Lizzo is currently a topic of conversation because she has recently, um, you know, people have been <laughs> um, giving her backlash, okay, because she was pushing unhealthy standards on children, okay? Um, but, no shade, but people never really, you know, they just thought that Lizzo was just a bad influence for, for people for being big, so now they're celebrating her for being in the gym and um, losing weight, okay? And people are clapping for her, and they're happy that she is finally in the gym, um, and, it looks like, and it seems like she's actually lost some weight. I'm not gonna lie. It seems like she actually lost a lot, a lot of weight, to be honest, okay? And, you know, they're just talking about this, and they're just saying, you know, Wow. Uh, but no shade, low-key. I don't even understand why people have so much conversation about Lizzo's body like that. I mean, I don't care, okay? If she's big, she's small, she's tiny, she's fat. I don't give a damn. Like, people's obsession with people's bodies, to me, has always been weird. I mean, if she, if she is healthy enough to, you know, be able to live life normally, okay, what's the issue here? What's the problem, okay? You know, I don't understand that, okay? Um, what we really need to clock is what happened to those, you know, rumors, and allegations around her name. Let's clock that T for real, okay? Let's clock that T, okay? Um, they're saying that the internet has bullied Lizzo into losing weight, and they're saying that the internet has gotten to Lizzo's mind. I don't understand this. I, I, I think this conversation about Lizzo's body is just, it's just getting blown out of proportion, honestly. If she wants to eat 12 Big Macs, okay, and three large fries, all right, in five minutes, let her do that. If she wants to eat a salad, okay, with one drip of ranch dressing, okay, because she's so scared to add any more calories to that damn salad, let her do that, all right? Nobody's in my ear questioning how much I eat. That's why I'm so glad I'm not famous. Well, also because, like, I would just hate to have people criticize every little thing that I'm oh, doing. Oh, like you were seen walking into Dollar Tree today. Oh, is he going broke? Bitch, I want a fucking container for my fucking plants 
Why are you questioning whether or not I'm broke or not? Because I am going to Dollar Tree to get a container. Leave me alone, okay? That's y'all problem now. Y'all be so worried about the wrong things, all right? But low-key, though, I do think that Lizzo losing weight, it's, I mean, it's not a bad idea. It's, it's not a bad idea. I got a bad idea. Um, it's not. I mean, it really isn't. And I think that personally, Lizzo losing weight, you know, can in, in, inspire people who are big, okay, to lose weight. Okay, if they want to lose weight, all right? So this is a great, great, great thing, okay? Moving on in 2024, let's leave the body conversations out of it, okay? Let's leave the, oh, you're too skinny, oh, you're too big. You shape like a house, okay? Let's just stop those comments now, all right? And let's just be positive and happy and and live heavily, happily ever after. Oh, my gosh, <laughs> And then everybody was happy again. Wow, wow, wow. Moving on to this next topic, I want to get into um, Nikki because it seems like she has actually gotten herself, okay, some rumors around her name. Yes. There are some speculations and allegations regarding the NM6 era. Yes. Nicki Minaj's sixth studio album. Yes. Um, they're saying that there's supposed to be an album coming out this fall. Yes, yes. Clap for the heavyweight champ. Yes. No, I'm not lucky. I'm blessed. Yes. <laughs> um, that's going to be a big deal. That's going to be some tea to clock into and get into. Um, they're saying this fall. Now, people are, people are saying, oh, it, 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 it's too damn close. It's too close to her last album. Oh, did it in them five just drop like what? Last year? Not even a year ago. They're saying it'll be too close to the drop date of pink friday too now i think that her dropping another album will be amazing i mean why 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 should we hold off on new music okay nikki didn't say press stop she said press play okay she said press play all right we ain't holding off on nothing okay and low key no shade uh i want nikki to drop another diss track towards uh, megan Thee stallion while she's at it okay while we're still here while we discuss new music let's get a diss track to megan right now yeah i want i, I want another one Okay, let's go ahead and clock that T. Let's go there. All right, since we since we're gonna talk about it, let's 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 talk about it. Okay, on the next album, I need some more shots thrown at everybody, not just Megan. I need some more shots thrown at, um, you know, everybody for real. I feel like it's gonna really shake up the climate. You know what I'm saying? Like shake up the world. Cause no shade though, Nicki gotta get her look back. Cause that girl got a whole number one off the back of Nicki. Okay. She got her number one. It's time for Nikki to get her number one and drop the diss track. Okay, so I think that's gonna, that's that's gonna be real tea. But then again, y'all always want to be all peaceful and huh, sing to me, I mean, sing to me. All right, all that peaceful shit, y'all can leave it to Janae Aiko. But over here, we get grimy. But yes, um, new album allegedly this fall. What's your opinion on that? What's your opinion on that? Um, as you all know, she's been teasing some new music. She's been teasing a lot of new music recently when it comes to um, you know before tour okay and people are excited some are excited some are not excited but i i think the music is pretty cute some of it just i'm not here for it I, some of the songs she was teasing i'm not gonna say it's bad i'm just not here for it it doesn't mean that it's good or bad i just I, i'm just not here for it but um it's this one song i was like oh this is eating it's, it's like the beat is just bumping and thumping i'm just like shaking like a damn earthquake i'm like hold on wait like oh um so yes this is a big deal okay um, what's your opinion on this, y'all? Comment down below. I would love to get into it, okay? Uh, wow, wow, wow. And when I say this, I don't mean to be disrespectful. And when I say this, I don't mean to be disrespectful. But what the, what is going on with Lil' Kim? Okay, what is going on with Lil' Kim, y'all? She has just completely lost it. She is ruining her legacy. Her legacy is just getting ruined day by day. Okay? Um, I think that personally, um, she needs to stop. Lil' Kim has just, <laughs> unfortunately, released a new song, okay? And I, Lil' Kim has struggled to keep up with evolving as an artist to be digestible with the current climate of music. She has struggled to do that since 2000 and like, what, five, four, three? And she hasn't recovered since. And she keeps trying to make this I still got it music. But it just sounds like somebody who needs to go to therapy and rehab. Okay, it's, it's like this music sounds like a recovering drunk. Like this is the type of music that a recovering drunk would make. 
she had sampled Vanilla Ice from the 90s. And it, it just, it, uh, uh-uh. Okay, the song is called uh, Nice Ice. Girl, you need to be called No. The song should have been called No. All right? I mean, no. Because that's, that's, that, that's how I'm feeling right now. No, 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 no. You must really, yeah, 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 yeah. You be singing, no, 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 no. That's what Lil' Kim should have heard from her producer when she got in the studio and wrote this shit. All right? And y'all might, y'all might say, oh, why are you giving so much hate to Lil' Kim? Oh, what's, what, oh, what's with all this hate? Oh, you, oh, shut up. I'm not hating on anybody. But I'm just calling it what it is and what I see. And I just don't think that Kim should continue to ruin her legacy. She's iconic. She's great. She has set trends in the female rap world that people, you know, are biting off of still today. But what I'm not going to sit up here and act like is that she still has it. That's just delusional. It's okay to, you know, do your big one and, you know, make your impact. But once you realize that you can't keep up or you just don't have it anymore or you just... You know, okay, if you're dropping this stuff just for fun, that's fine. But if you're dropping it trying to, you know, prove a point and try to have a comeback moment, no. No, Kim. And it's okay. It's okay to have your moment up. Do something else. Period. And it's okay. We all have our moments where, like, okay, it's time's up. <laughs> Move on. Some next. Next, <laughs> next caller. Next caller. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. But, yes, um, you know, I'm sending my child i'm saying praise to little kim uh, because this is just I, I, I mean i played the music and i just almost busted into tears okay i almost like you know just fell out laughing because i i just i don't know how to i don't know how to take her serious anymore <laughs> and that's just an honest opinion and y'all may drag me but i mean i'm keeping it real moving on to miss sky jackson y'all apparently she had her charges drop my girl beat the case sky jackson beat the she ate that, okay, period. Okay, so Sky Jackson, y'all, she has recently, um, you know, she was in some drama with her man. And, like, you know, they were saying that she was in a fight and stuff, all that rah-rah. Um, but, okay, um, they're saying that um, the, um, you know, the charge... Well, I, I don't even know if it was even charges, but they're saying that there were no charges even made. And plus, there's lack of evidence about anything. Um, so, it's like, you know... Basically, the case, you know, is dismissed, okay? Because it's insufficient evidence, along with Jackson not having a prior criminal record. You know, she don't have a record. She's a she's a good girl. Okay, she's a good girl. Because good girls don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Or beat their boyfriends up and get on TMZ for being abuser. But that's, period. She ate that little one. She ate that little one. I, I, for real. But Loki, I feel like everybody just assumed that she was like, you know... I feel like everybody just assumed she was going to be getting into some legal action because of what social media is saying. But whole time, like, the incident was old. And the whole, and whole, whole time, whole time, like, we never heard, like, that she even had charges against her like that. Like, nobody has, like, you know, it was no real evidence, like I said. No, like, no. So, yeah, so she went out, she beat the case. Um, and she's out here living her best life like, like nothing ever happened. So congratulations to Sky Jackson. But but also, she's still with this man. But low-key, no shade. Every time stuff like this happens, I'm going to be real with you. It, come, it, come, it comes back around. We're going to be hearing about something else with her and her man again. I'm not wishing her any bad or anything like that. But no shade. But I feel like, you know, when people be having these type of incidents and stuff, it don't just be a one-time thing. It, it, it comes back. And, 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 and I say that because, like... The red flags be there, but you ignore them and move on because you say, okay, we, we just had a bad argument. Oh, it was just a bad moment. But next thing you know, the bad arguments turn into something something else. And I'm just going to leave it here because I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, get to that topic. And this, the, the thing, just, okay, y'all, moving on to Miss Tinashe. Um, she has apparently gotten herself her first ever number one on the, well, not, okay, look, not first, not first ever number one. But she's got herself number one on the U.S. Rhythmic Radio, uh, according to Media Base. This song becomes her first solo career, chart topper, and second overall. First since 2016's to on. I love to get on. I love to get to on. Um, that's great. I do appreciate her, you know, success. I think this is amazing. Um, I've been telling y'all earlier in, in you know, my other videos how I'm happy to see how she is actually having a resurgence of success again. I think that is just so impactful to her career because, like I've been telling y'all, she could have just been a one-hit wonder. But no, God had more in store for her. God had more planned for her. She wasn't meant to just be a person who's just 
oh, like she's a two on girl. No, she has a genuine passion and, and a genuine talent, and that's why she's winning. That's why oh, I will always say talent will always win in the end. If you are genuinely talented in something that you're doing, you, God will always bless you. And, and, and things may be looking like down for a minute or down for a second, but that's because God has more in store for you. And you have to just continue to stick it out and continue to keep going and keep pushing through. Because if you know at the end of the day what's for you is for you, then nothing, nothing, nothing can stop you. Bad labels, bad songs, bad singles, poor performing music videos, like... None of that can stop your greatness because God already has more in store for you. So I'm happy to see Tanache is eating it up, you know. Um, hopefully she goes on tour. You know, her album, Quantum Baby, is out now. She has the new song out. I, I, I like the new song that she has out uh, called No Book Boys, No New Friends, and da, 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 Eat His Ass Again. So she's definitely giving it up real tea, real cute. So congratulations to my sis Tanache. Um, yeah, I'm proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Keep doing your thing and keep on popping and keep on doing your thing, little girl. Okay? Yeah, let's move on to this next topic. Uh, moving on to Miss Lotto. Apparently, Lotto was actually about to have another Billboard entry this week. Um, as you all know, the Billboard chart is where all the songs that are popping enter the Billboard chart positions. But, oh, child. Y'all know what Billboard is. I don't got to explain that to y'all. Okay? I'm not better to be up here and be Wikipedia. Uh, so Billboard Hot 100, she is expected to be number 92 on the chart. Now, if you ask me, I feel like this is pretty cool. Um, very low, very, very low. Okay, but, you know, songs do chart and they can go rise. So, um, you know, people are happy because she did this with, um, you know, no remixes and no promo. Okay. Uh, but, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I think that, you know, your single from your album only charting at number 93 is kind of low. I'm just going to be quite honest here. I don't want to lie. I don't want to yay. But, you know, it's very low. And, you know, like I said, the song may rise as time goes on. You know, who am I to sit up here and say the song is not going to rise? But I'm going to be honest here, y'all, but this era is a flop. (laughs) <laughs> I, mean, we, I mean, what else would I say about it? It's just a fucking plot. Like, it's a plot. But I think the more that her team puts in some effort, okay? Effort. Heavy on the word effort. Uh, you know, maybe we could see some more, you know, numbers go up, you know? Uh, and maybe some more, I don't know, better music, okay? Uh, maybe, all right? Like I always say, with the right team, the right marketing, the right vision you can you know you can be successful with anything you know honestly uh but i do feel like for lotto and ice spice to boost their careers a bit more i think that they should probably drag out this beef a bit more and take it to the next level i want to see them get into a twitter feud and i think that will help boost some popularity for their careers because both of them are flopping and both of them could benefit from some type of pr scandal or some type of you know publicity stunt okay I, 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 honestly, I feel like the beef is already a, a publicity stunt in the first place. Place, but I do think they need to hop online and you know call one person Annie and call one person Karen and call one person. Oh, you shaped like a pencil because you know you lose all this weight. Oh, but you're shaped like a pointy basketball that has no bounce to it. You know, I want to hear some of those jabs, you know, back and forth. And, oh, you begged Nikki for a song, but I got two of the songs for free. And I still caught her ass delusional behind her back. And she still put me on her record. I, I want to hear, I want to hear this, you know, that, okay? Um, back and forth, you know, on social media. Call me delusional all you want to. I'm just setting up the perfect PR moment, okay? Um, call me PR, a and I. But no, on a serious note, though, I mean, it would honestly benefit them if we're being honest. But yes, comment down below. How do you feel about this? Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's, talk, let's get into it. Okay. But yeah. But yes, y'all, that's all I have for you in today's video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and tap the bell so you can alert every single time I post a new video. Uh, sidebar, but can we stop saying this whole the more, the the more, the douche? Can we stop saying that word? It's irritating. Like, and it's like, I just, I, I, I can't, I can't get into that. Okay. But yes, all right, y'all, that's all I have for you in today's video. Um, channel members, I love you. I will see y'all in the next video. Be safe, y'all.